Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problem out of this book here, the official study manual for T's 2021. Make sure you buy 2021 edition and always make sure the book is in front of you. If you do not own this book, purchase one immediately. You are you are going to need it if you're going to ready if you're going to study for T's. There is no such thing as preparation for T's in my opinion without the official study manual. We are on page number 158. We are on page number 158, rather 159. On page 159, on page 159, you will find some percentage percentage practice problems. The reason I don't want to put the page number here is because I don't want you to get confused because the problems that we're going to do, we're going to do three percent, three more percentage problems. They are bonus problems and they are not in the book. The three problems that we're about to do, which as I told you just now, they are not in the book. The three problems that we're about to do, they actually come out of the old edition, T's 5. T's 5 came out in 2012. And I have solved every single problem that appears in this book in the series of videos on my channel. Just search for these five. Just type in Keshwani. Always put in my name so it makes it easier if you find. Put in these five, Keshwani, these five, day one. That's where the series begins. There are 80 videos where, where you will find a solution to every single problem in this book, as I told you, if you wish to get some extra help, extra, extra, extra practice. And it is out of that book that we're gonna do three problems today. Enough of that, let's begin. In addition to that, in addition to that, there is, let's not begin, uh, there is one more thing I want to share with you. In addition to the these five series that I just told you about, in addition to that, on my, on my channel, you will also find a series of video called Basic Math. It is a series of 100 videos this, that, deals with, that deals with, believe it or not, Basic Math. And in that series, just type in Kishwani, Basic Math, day 33, starting from day 33 and ending on day 40, there are a whole bunch of problems, percentage problems, if you want to get some more practice with the percentage problem. Day 33 just talks about percentage formula and then it goes on. You don't have to do all of them, just do at least a couple of them. Do you understand? Do at least the first couple of days just to get a little bit more proficient at these things. Number one, it says that our current salary our current salary is $50,000. And of course, these three problems that we're going to do, they're going to be very similar to what we just finished last, yesterday, the five problems on page 159, because it's the exact same exam written by the exact same people, just the older edition. That's all. So we have $50,000 salary. We are told that we got 4% raise. We got 4% raise. The question simply is, what is our new salary? Which simply is, what is our new salary? Let's find out, shall we? We know that 1%, 1% of 50,000, if you want to find 1% of anything, you just drop two zeros, 1% of 50,000. This is 50,000 right here, 50,000. And if you want to find 10%, you knock out one zero. If you want to find 1%, you knock out two zero. This is 1%. 1% of 50,000 is 500. There you go, we are done. If 1% if 1% is 500, we are not interested in 1%, we are interested in 4%. So just multiply both sides by 4. So if 1% is, is 500, then 4% 4 must be 500 times 4. 500 times 4 is $2,000. We got $2,000 in $2,000 in raise, therefore our new salary, our new salary is simply going to be, our new salary is simply going to be 50000 that we were getting before, 2000 in raise, a grand total of $52,000. That's all, nothing to it. Let's do the next one. Number two. Number two says, 
what is 25% of 680? Again, we did this problem very similar to this one yesterday. Let's find out, okay? 25% of 680. We're going to do it a couple of different ways if you like. Okay? If you, if you have 680, if we take half of it, if we take half of that amount, half of 300, half of 600 is 300, and half of 80 is 40. There you go. So what do you suppose these amounts represent? These amounts each represent 50%. 50% and 50%. 340 plus 340 is 680. This is half of 680, this is half of 680. We want 25%. So let's, let's take this guy and break this into half again. Okay, this is where you have to pay attention. Half of 300 is 150. Half of 300 is 150. And half of 40 is 20. There you go. There you go. So this amount, these amount represented 50%. And once we take 50%, we take half of that, this amount represents 25%. There you go. The question was, what is 25% of 680? The answer is $107. Right there. So that's one way of doing it. Let's do it differently. Another way to do this thing is to simply realize that 25% of anything is simply one quarter of that amount. One quarter is 25%. 25% of 680. All we can do is divide top and bottom by 4. Let's begin, shall we? Let's divide top and bottom by 4. If you divide bottom by 4, it disappears, it becomes a 1, obviously. How many 4 does 6 have? Let's, let's do it here together. We're going to divide by 4. Okay, let's begin. How many 4 does 6 have? 6 has only one 4. 6 has only one 4. After we take away the six, after we take away the four from the six, we have a remainder of two. What happens to the two? Two goes and joins the eight and becomes a twenty-eight. And twenty-eight has seven fours. Seven fours are twenty-eight. How many fours does zero have? Zero has no fours. Let's do it again, shall we? How many four does six have? Six has one four. After we take away four from the six, we have a remainder of two. What happens to the two? That 2 goes and joins the 8 and becomes a 28. And 28 has 7 4s. 7 4s are 28. And how many 4s how many does this 0 have? The answer is, this 0 has a big fat 0 4. It has no 4s. It's just a 0. It has no 4s. How, how do you show a notion of no 4s? Right here. It has no 4s. There you go. 1 quarter of 680 is 170. Let's do one more, shall we? So in the previous edition, in edition 5, they gave only 3 problems on the page as opposed to 5 problems on the new edition on page 159 that you're holding in your hand, the, 2000, the 2001 edition. The 2012 edition, on the same concept, they only had 3 problems, we just did 2, we're going to do the next one. This is the regular price of 400, regular price of something was $45. It is right now, it is right now being discounted at 30%, 30% off. The question simply is, what is the reduced price? And the reason why I always point out to you different things that you can find where you can get some more practice, such as this basic math series and just such as the old series of T's is because in my opinion, you cannot get ready for a concept. You cannot actually be proficient at a concept just by, doing th just by doing three or five problems. In my opinion, you have to do a few more before you can build some confidence. Even if you're going to use calculator. Calculator is just a machine. You still have to understand the concept. And you can't do that just by doing three or five problems. So let's do some more here and here. Let's find out this one, okay? Again, there are a couple of ways we can go about it. One way is to this thing. The regular price is 45%, uh, $45. 10 percent, 10 percent of 45 is simply four dollars and fifty cents. It's simply four dollars and fifty cents. If 10 percent is four dollars and fifty cents, then how do you find that? How do you find that? Well, if you want to find, if you want to find 10 percent of something, 
if you want to find 10% of something, you just divide that by 10, 1 tenth. And if you divide 45 by 1 tenth, it becomes 4.5. It becomes 4.5, which is what we have here, $4.50. We're not interested in 10%. We're not interested in 10%. We are interested in figuring out 70%. Why 70%? Because we want to find out discount price. So if you want to find out discount price, don't figure out 30% and then subtract the discounted amount from the regular amount. It's just too much work. If you if it's 30% off, you're only paying 70%. That's the idea. So if this is 10%, we want to find out the 70%, multiply both sides by 7. And we are done. Let's see what that is, shall we? Let's find out what that is. So 7, 7 times 450 is what we're trying to figure out, okay? Pay attention. 4 times 7 is 28. And 7 times half a dollar. You see this 50 is half a dollar, 50 cents. If you have 7 sets of 50 cents, 7 pairs of 50 cents, think of them as 2 quarters. 2 quarters make 50 cents. And if you have 7 pairs of 2 quarters, that's $3.50. There you go. For 28 plus 3 is $31. And 50 cents is what you will pay, and that represents that represents a 70 percent of the regular price, which is the reduced price. So this is one way of doing it. Let's do another way, shall we? Let's do another way. Let's do the other way on the top. So remember, we have a 30 percent discount, which means we are only paying 70 percent. Let's do it on the top. So what we're going to find out is 70% of 45, okay? 70% means over 100, half means times 45. This is what we're going to find out. I may have to, I may have to erase this thing because I'm going to need more room, I think. Let's begin, shall we? Let's divide top and bottom by 10, so zero drops out. Let's divide top and bottom by five. If you divide 10 by five, it becomes a two. Divide 45 by 5, it becomes a. That's not how I went about in my work. See, what's going to become is it's going to become 9, and then we'll have to divide by 2, and when you have to divide by 2, neither 9 nor 7 can be divided by 2, so let's leave the 45 alone. Let's leave the 45 alone and let's divide this 7 by 2. Let's do it separately. Let's do it separately because you're getting too crowded. 70% 70% of 45 is 70% the same as 7 tenth. That's 70% of 45. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. So 10 becomes 2 and 45 becomes a 9. Let's leave that 9 alone. Let's divide 7 by let's say we divide 7 by 2. If you divide 7 by 2, it becomes 3 and a half. It becomes 3 and a half. Now all you have to do is figure out what is 9 times 3 and a half. And when we figure out 9 times 3 and a half, hopefully we'll get the same answer. Let's find out, shall we? 9 times 3 is 27. And half of 9, half of 9 is 450. Half of 9 is 450. 27 plus 4 is 31. 50. Voila, what do you know? Same as before. Let me erase this arrow so that it doesn't look ugly. There you go. So that was from the previous method, this is from the other method. It doesn't matter how you do it. There is no such thing as one right way of doing a math problem. Any math problem can be done by a thousand different ways. If you put ten mathematicians in a room and you give them a problem, I guarantee you all ten of them will not solve it the same way. Out of the ten people, you will probably find at least four or five or maybe six or seven or even maybe as many as ten different ways or maybe more than ten ways. You put ten, pe ten mathematicians in the class in the room and tell, give them a problem to solve and they will solve the problem probably in twelve different ways because a couple of, prop couple of people solve it in two ways. There is no such thing as right way or wrong way of doing a math. It's just a method. You can do it any method you want. Only thing that counts is that you end up at the right result. Which we did. We ended up at the right result. 
3150 is the answer. On that sermon, we'll call it a day. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow, where we'll, be, where we'll begin a new topic, which I told you yesterday that I haven't turned the page yet, so I do not know what it is. I decided to do a few extra math problems. We'll figure out. Uh, I'll figure out what the next topic is when I turn the page. I wanted to finish. I wanted to give you three more extra problem on percentage. So I'll see you tomorrow. We'll continue where we left off. In the meantime, if you want to get hold of me, you can always send me an email at kishwaniprep at icloud.com. Alright, bye now.